Hello everybody and welcome to Muptown Funk. I'm your host Ty and this is the first ever episode of the Muppet Deep Dive where we take a close look at the history of Muppet characters. Rolf the dog has been my favorite Muppet character since I was incredibly young. Just one look at this channel and you'd probably quickly piece together that yeah he's my favorite and he has been for a very long time. So I felt that he'd be a fitting choice for the first episode of the series. Not just because I love him so much, but also because he has one of the richest character histories out of anybody in the entire Muppets cast, and is often dubbed the first Muppet to reach international stardom. While most of us nowadays think of Rolf as one of the major characters of the Muppets ensemble, he actually predates his fellow Muppet Show friends by about a decade. Rolf was first created in 1962, puppeteered by Jim Henson, he was created for a series of Purina dog chow commercials alongside another character named Baskerville the Hound. These commercials had a pretty similar formula to several other early Henson commercials with Rolf really liking Purina dog chow and Baskerville being sort of against it. Purina dog chow is more nourishing. It's got all 43 vitamins and minerals a fella needs to make him feel all dog. Ha! The sparry goose tastes good. Purina dog chow tastes better. It's flavor charged. Look, Baskerville, you go and enjoy your asparagus. It's past my chow time. Make chow time eager eater time for your dog. Feed him new flavor charged Purina dog chow. So delicious, we guarantee your dog will love it or your money back. As you can see, Henson gave Rolf his now iconic, deep, raspy voice from the very beginning. Only a year after the Purina Dog Chow ads, Rolf would gain a new role, as a sidekick to Jimmy Dean on The Jimmy Dean Show. During the show's run from 1963 to 1966, each episode would feature an around 10 minute segment of Jimmy Dean interacting with Rolf. This gave Rolf quite a bit of backstory, revealing his birthday, and also showing off his mother Tilly, who was in the audience watching him. Rolf having a major role on a talk show starring someone as famous as Jimmy Dean led him to becoming internationally known. And Rolf began to become one of the go-to Muppet characters alongside Kermit at this time, appearing on different talk shows, variety shows, and in several different films that Jim Henson made to entertain staff of different companies such as Wilson's Meats. In 1969, Rolf appeared alongside Kermit in the original Sesame Street pitch video, explaining to Kermit and to any network executives watching what the show would be about and how it would educate children. With these two being the most famous Muppets at the time, they were perfect choices for this. Sesame Street was later picked up in 1969, and while Kermit became a recurring cast member on the show, Rolf never appeared on it. It's unknown whether or not Rolf was ever planned to be on Sesame Street like Kermit was, but he did end up having one very strange cameo in the Song of Nine. Nine lights! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine! A few years later, Rolf was given a new life entirely when The Muppet Show began. Although he only had very small cameos in The Muppet Show's original two pilots, Rolf was given a much larger role in the final series, being designated as the Muppet Theater's resident piano player. Rolf was also given an updated puppet for the Muppet Show, making his face quite a bit more round. His laid-back, calm attitude was perfect for the role of the series piano player, and he would often appear singing a song, sometimes on his own, sometimes with another character such as Fozzie, and sometimes just playing piano as backup for the episode's guest star. My own mother turns down her hearing aid when I sing this song. In addition to playing the piano, Rolf's most notable role on The Muppet Show was as Dr. Bob in the recurring veterinarian's hospital sketch, where he, alongside Nurse Janice and Nurse Piggy, both of which were allowed to keep their names, and he wasn't, I guess, operated on different Muppets in a comedic way. Rolf being a piano player became his most prominent trait, and his role on The Muppet Show cemented him as a major player in The Muppets Ensemble, to which he stays to this day. 
Rolf has appeared in nearly every Muppet production since the original Muppet Show, sometimes in a major role, and sometimes not speaking, but almost always in the background playing the piano. Rolf has had an absolute ton of appearances, he's been in practically every Muppet movie, every special, basically everything they've done, so let's go over some of his most notable appearances over the years. In the original Muppet movie, we see how Kermit first met Rolf. After being ditched by Miss Piggy on a date at a restaurant, he finds Rolf playing the piano there, and after they sing the song I Hope That Something Better comes along, Rolf is recruited to Kermit's team. In The Muppets Take Manhattan, Rolf gets a job at a dog kennel after the Muppets temporarily split up. Also in this movie, we see Baby Rolf for the first time, who would later star as one of the main characters in Muppet Babies, here voiced by Katie Lay. In 1984, Jim Henson recorded a Rolf album. This wouldn't release until nine years later after Henson's passing, where it would be released under the name Old Brown Years Is Back featuring a selection of Rolf songs from The Muppet Show, as well as a few new ones that Henson had recorded all the way back in 84. Rolf appeared in the Jim Henson Hour in 1989, a very interesting series that didn't really use that many Muppet characters, but with Rolf being one of Henson's most iconic roles, he was given a recurring role in the series. His most notable role in the series is probably when he hosted the special Dog City, which went on to have a life of its own after the Jim Henson Hour. Henson's final portrayal of Rolf would come in 1990's The Muppets at Walt Disney World, in which Rolf was detained by a pet control worker in the Disney parks. Henson would pass only a few weeks after the special's release in May of 1990. Out of all of Jim Henson's characters, Rolf was seen as the one whose personality most closely matched the real Jim. And so, out of respect to Henson, Rolf no longer spoke for the following few years, making non-speaking cameos in the Muppet Christmas Carol and Treasure Island movies. Meanwhile, the cast tried to find an adequate replacement for him. Eventually, Muppeteer Bill Beretta would slowly transition into the role of Rolf. In 1997, Beretta spoke his first words as Rolf in episode 2 of Muppets Tonight. A simple, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Now with Beretta as his new puppeteer, Rolf spent the early 2000s slowly but surely making more frequent speaking appearances. In 2008, when the Muppets began releasing online content to YouTube, Rolf starred in a two-part video. The first part, Rolling with the Skateboarding Bulldog, featured Fozzie filming himself Rolf, Gonzo, and Rizzo watching a skateboarding bulldog on the beach. Three days later, a follow-up video called The Skateboarding Dog Gets Served released, where Rizzo filmed Rolf skateboarding to try to one-up the bulldog. No faster. I'm going faster. really fast now. I can't just smell that pizza coming from. Delicious. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Somebody call a veterinarian! The 2011 Muppet movie The Muppets really saw the beginning of a new era for the characters, and in this new modern era, Rolf has once again become a pretty major character. The way Rolf gets recruited to rejoin the Muppet team in this movie is one of my favorite jokes in the entire movie. We see a montage of Kermit and the gang rounding up all of the supporting Muppet cast, but we don't see Rolf in it. We see Rolf afterwards in the car with the rest of the characters, lamenting that he wasn't a part of the montage, even though there was a great story behind how he rejoined the team. Uh, how come you didn't use me in the montage? Uh, I thought my story was pretty interesting. Rolf? Uh -uh. Huh? Want to get back together? Okay. Good. Rolf continues to appear all throughout the rest of the film, in what's easily his largest role since Bill Beretta took over the character. In Muppets Most Wanted, Rolf found himself at the center of a pretty funny movie inconsistency. During the opening number, we're doing a sequel, all of the major Muppet characters are introduced with a line that they sing, and then they're brought into the song doing a dance with the rest of the cast. However, when we get to Rolf's part, there's just a jump cut to him being with the rest of the characters. He doesn't have a line, he's just suddenly present. Rolf's line was actually deleted, which is why we have this weird jump cut. The line was supposed to be, we're doing a sequel, how hard could it be, we can't do any worse than The Godfather 3. This ended up being cut from the final version of the movie, 
but it still appears on the soundtrack and in the movie's extended cut. In 2015's Muppet Show, ABC's The Muppets, Rolf is a recurring cast member who runs a restaurant and bar called Rolf's Tavern that the characters hang out at after their show is done. Rolf is often seen in the series giving advice to characters, mainly Kermit, and playing the piano in the back of his bar. There's a really great detail in the background of Rolf's Tavern, one that I've always really loved. If you look very closely, you can see there's a framed photo on the wall of Rolf with Jimmy Dean from The Jimmy Dean Show. In the modern era, Rolf has made several significant appearances in commercials, online videos, and more. Rolf appeared in a series of videos for Puppy Bowl 10 in 2014, where he trained three live dogs, and he guest starred on a 2019 episode of America's Got Talent. Despite his more prominent appearances in recent years, Rolf found himself being cut out of the main cast of the 2018 Muppet Babies reboot, alongside Scooter and Skeeter. Rolf would appear in the series, though, as a recurring character, beginning in Season 1, Episode 19, The Best Best Friend, and he would later appear in around 9 or so episodes. The new baby Rolf matched a bit closer to his traditional puppet counterpart and was now voiced by Matt Danner. Like most of the other Muppet characters, Rolf's appearances over the past three or four years have primarily just been promotional appearances on different shows with the rest of the Muppets cast. His most recent appearance currently was the 2021 Halloween special Muppets Haunted Mansion, where he portrayed the role of the piano player from Disney's Haunted Mansion ride. As you can see, Rolf has had one of the longest, most complicated histories of any Muppet character out there. He's had many ups and downs over the years, sometimes appearing prominently, sometimes just appearing in the background, and spending an entire decade almost completely silent following the death of his original puppeteer. But if there's one thing Rolf has always done, it's persevered. Even if he doesn't appear for a few years, you know he'll always be back to crack some jokes or play the piano again. Rolf has always persevered since the original Jimmy Dean show. And, if you need more proof of this, just look at his puppet. According to Rolf's current performer, Bill Beretta, the current Rolf puppet has been used since roughly 1985, with little to no changes. Rolf, well, <laughs> while all the other Muppets have been changed and updated time and time again, Rolf has stuck around, stayed the same, and continued to be him. Anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye now.